Hey, what's up? No, I'm I'm reading the story of, of Icarus. I'm about, I'm about halfway through. He just took off. He's flying all the way up towards the clouds. Um, wait, the great auk? Okay, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be there. Sorry. Great off. Where's it at? Oh yeah, sorry man. I uh, I got to confuse with the robin. I, I get the next up all the time. Every time. Come on. Sorry man. Before you called me, you uh, you ever read the story of Icarus before? Oh, is that the scary one with the uh, with the horseman? No, there's no headless horseman in that one. Ichabod, you think it's Ichabod? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that's right. No, uh, Icarus from Greek mythology. Yeah, I read in high school. Why? Uh, well, so ever since I've read this, I've been thinking, what if someone could, like, build, like, a functioning pair of wings, right? You can read the end of the story, right? No, I got, I was, like, in the middle part, because you called me, but I, it doesn't really matter, right? I don't uh, I think it, I think it's pretty important to this conversation. Okay, well, you know what? I'll go back and I'll, I'll read the rest of it later. Alright, we'll save this for later. I finished the story. So now do you get what you're talking about, ridiculous? Ridiculous? No, I'm, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do what? I'm gonna build the perfect set of wings. So you just read the story where the arrogant man built himself a set of wings and then plummeted to his death, and your first thought was, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. All right, but let's, let's think about this. The problem was not with Icarus, right? The problem was with the design of the wings. And I think I can fix that. See, if you think about what flies today, right? Planes, birds, hang gliders. Look, Colin, I'm not going to debate you. Um, if you're not going to listen to me, just talk with some other... What, friends? Acquaintances. All right, fine. But if I do this, you're going to be there to watch me fly so that you'll regret ever doubting me. All right, Colin, if you build a pair of wings and go fly, I will be there to watch you. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm working on building a pair of wings that can achieve a sustained, stable flight for humans. That's just completely, I mean... You have no idea what you're talking about? Um... What do you mean? Do you have any idea how complex bird's flight is? Like, have you ever heard of an airfoil? No. Okay, well, bird's feathers, their flight feathers, are perfect airfoils. Some air passes underneath the wing and other passes over the wing. But because of the shape, the air that goes underneath goes slower while the air that goes above goes faster. This creates a difference in pressure that results in lift. Birds are also able to angle their wings certain ways to achieve thrust. Even if you were able to create a wing that could generate these forces, you'd still have to deal with unpredictable air currents. Bird feathers can manipulate tiny eddies of air to control turbulence in a way that even modern airplanes can't. And you're just talking about soaring flight, right? Like not flapping? But just occasional flapping, maybe. Mostly, mostly soaring. Okay, because I was going to talk about how you don't have hollow bones or like a furcula. Not to mention the human body isn't strong enough and doesn't have the ability to flap fast enough to actually lift you off the ground. I only have a family history of early onset osteoporosis. Seriously though, bird's flight can't be replicated. Like, feathers work individually and as a group and can be manipulated in ways that control flight that humanity will never be able to achieve. And the fact that you think you can be the person to achieve this is insane. I'm not trying to replicate the exact flight of birds. Dagilus made the same mistake. He thought that if he just glued a bunch of feathers together, he'd be fine. What I'm trying to do is to combine the maneuverability of birds with the technology that we already have for planes. And why do you think that would work? Well, uh, they both fly, right? What you're trying to do isn't new. People have been unsuccessfully trying to attempt what Icarus pulled off for hundreds of years. Have you read any of their stories? I've been looking at pictures of wings. That's what I thought. I looked up a couple of examples. Do you want to hear what happened to them? Uh, I, 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 Alan, 1660, grievously hurt. The Marquis de Bankville, 1742, broken leg. De Gen, 1812, survived his failed flight and then beaten by an angry mob. Lecter, 1854, seriously injured, died from his injuries later. De Gruff, 1874, killed in okay. you know what? Leonardo da Vinci. He did not die in a flight attempt. Well, he would have if he ever got around to testing his designs. Instead, he was busy hiding clues to the Holy Grail on the Mona Lisa. Okay, you know what? I get your point, but all of the people you mentioned there were from the 1800s or earlier. Does that make them stupider? 
It just means they had fewer resources. What resources do you have? Okay, you know what? I get your point. I get what you're doing here. You think that you can convince me to stop this. Well, you know what? You cannot change my mind because it's not capable of changing. And that's why I'm going to succeed. Do you think you're going to go to his funeral? Probably not. I'm kind of busy comping. That's true, but sometimes they have good food there. I guess that's true. Hey, Colin. Well, I finished. What did you finish? The pair of wings. No? Do you oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember this? the wings. Do you, do you have them with you? Yeah, actually. What do you think? Those are your wings? Yeah. You realize birds have a lot of feathers, right? They have primary, secondary, and tertiary flight feathers. They, they all work individually and as a whole. That just looks like a cheap piece of construction paper. But it's just, you know, it's more efficient. It's one, like, large feather. Here, let, let, let me tell you about the wings. Flight feathers have an asymmetrical structure and are made up of five parts. The feather has a shaft called a rachis. Small barbs branch off of this rachis. The pinaceous region is part of the feather where the barbs interlock. Tiny barbules attached to each barb have hooklets that allow them to lock together tightly. At the bottom of this feather is called the plumaceous region, where the barbs do not interlock. The end of the feather is called the calamus and is hollow with no barbs. See, feathers and wings are very sophisticated. They have a lot of parts and clearly your wings don't have any of them. Okay. Thanks for all of that wonderful information, but uh, you made a, a promise to me, you remember? Yeah, I remember. Alright, this is the place. It's perfect. Oh. Alright, if you say so. Hey, before you start, do you mind just... I just want to get your autograph before you jump, so when, when you're famous, just sign it. Oh. You know what? That's a good call, actually. Yeah. Oh, wait, so right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there's good. Just to be clear, I'm not responsible for anything that's going on. I don't even like birds. Yeah, man, we're good to go. The bird, the plane, all rolled into one. Ha <laughs> ha! It's time. Hey, Colin. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm doing better. Don't want to say I told you so, but you realize now that birds' flight feathers are perfect airfoils and you can't replicate them? Yeah, yeah, I understand. But listen, I've been doing a lot of aquatic physical therapy recently, and it's got me thinking. I think there's got to be a way that humans can reach, like, the deepest parts of the ocean without a submarine. So I want you to just hear me out. What I think I'm we need here. to do is we need to build a plastic bubble around people, and then if we just drop them to the bottom of the Marianas Trench, no? Alan, 1660, previously heard. The Marques de Benfield. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so let's do. Alan, 1660, grievously hurt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>